Welcome, I'm Crafty Mary Ann. Today let's make some sausage. I've got the meat grinder here and my partner right here, Sully, he's gonna help me today. Hello. And all of our metal parts just came out of the freezer. Our meat itself has already been cut into roughly one inch cubes and has been frozen overnight and it's now mostly frozen, which is a good way to put it through the meat grinder. We want it as cold as possible without it being solid frozen to help ensure that as we create more surface space by breaking down the meat into smaller pieces, we're not contributing to bacterial growth. So let's get this together. And we're gloved up. Yes, we are definitely gloved up. It's gonna hold our hopper, which is the top piece here. This is the auger that's gonna spin and force the meat out the front. So we wanna put that in until it sets. The next piece that we're gonna need is our cutting blade. And it is possible to put it in upside down, or I guess backwards, but it's as long as you follow the square goes to the back, it's gonna sit in the machine like this. So you, and it's got a square right here on the tip, and just slide it on. This is our face plate, which has the, the larger of the two diameters. Mm -hmm. Not the faces. Not the faces. <laughs> and then we have our cap. We have our cap, and that's ready to go. That's ready to go. Aha, that works. All right. Now we are planning on making two different flavors. So we're going to grind it all up and then separate it, flavor it, let it rest for a couple hours and re-chill back down. And then after that, we'll be able to do, do our final grind with it. Great. So the audio is probably going to be really terrible for a while. Is it probably all going to get cut, the audio? Um, yeah, because I'll be leaving. it's going to be loud and noisy, right? Yeah. yeah. So talk to you soon. Yeah. But we'll be here. I wanted to show you really quick after oh. starting to our grain. You can see really well um, that we have the meat and the fat, and it's fairly well marbled in between because you don't want a big old chunk of fat. Watch out, Boko's looking at this. <laughs> yes, quality okay. assurance. Yeah, but if, do we have any ice cubes? Could you, and if so, could you bring me like three? Ice cubes? We don't have that recipe. <laughs> I know, we lost the ice cube recipe a long time ago. Here you go. To mix in. Well, I I'm covered in beef, so that's good. So I'm just going to be using this uh, ice to help clear out the auger in the machine. Ingredients you've used in the description block? Yes. All right, let's get started. So we should. Probably it, right? Yeah. Now you can see that the fat has gone from big chunks into mostly incorporated. One of the reasons you want to always do this with cold material isn't just the back possible bacteria growth, but also you get this really nice texture between the lean meat and the fat. If you work it when it's hot, this fat's just going to melt and get sticky in your hands or on your gloves um, unnecessarily, and then it won't cook up the same. But other than that, we've got some homemade sausage. All right. All right, well, we're, we're back and we've got the sausage cooked. We have the breakfast sausage, which is a smaller one here. And the one with the deeper color is our spicy sausage. that has got red chili and chili powder. And Sounds good. Sounds good. Next, I'm gonna try the spicy first. I'll start with breakfast. Yeah, a little tight, but delicious. You're gonna really like that one. Mm. Mm hmm. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a little tight. Mm. Maybe we need a finer screen? Maybe not. That's really good. That was really good. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on the show with me today. All right. Bye. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining Crafty Marianne.